This tutorial will cover how to load data that's in Stata format using R. It assumes just a couple of things, that first you know how file paths work in your operating system, and second that you know how to set your working directory, which are topics that I've covered in prior videos. Stata stores data in a binary format that has a .dta extension, and so the first thing that you'll have to do to load Stata data is to load in the foreign package, which will include um, a series of functions in R that will allow you to read data from foreign statistical packages like Stata or SAS or SPSS. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be loading a file that's called uh, gss underscore 2016 underscore clean dot DTA, which is just a copy of the 2016 general social survey. So to load the data in R, the first thing that you'll typically want to do is just go to R Studio. And if you're starting from scratch, it'll look basically something like this, so you don't have any syntax files open or anything like that. So the first thing that we'll do is open a syntax file because usually we want to save our code so we can pick up our, our steps later and not lose any of the information that we've created. To do that, you just want to go to File, and then you can go to New File, and then R script. Or if you're uh, into keyboard shortcuts, Control Shift N on Windows or Command Shift N on Mac. So just start a new syntax file and you'll see that it looks something like this. The first thing that we'll want to do is bring in the foreign package so we can access all of those functions to read data from Stata formatted uh, information. So all that you need to do to do that is just type library foreign and this is something that comes in the base installation of R. So if you have R installed, then you already had it. And just typing it in and of itself doesn't do anything. You actually have to run the command. So the easiest way to do that is just to highlight it. And then in Windows, you would press Control and Enter. Or on Mac, you would press Command, hold it down, and then press Enter. And then that will run it. And you can see that it, um, it copied itself down in the console right down here. Uh, but otherwise, it doesn't really look like something happened. And that's exactly what you want. Now, actually, what's changed is that R has brought in all of the various functions that it needs to read data in a variety of different formats, uh, for us particularly in Stata format. So now that we've brought in the functions that we need, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is set our working directory. And for me, I'm going to just use the set wd command, and I happen to know that I have a folder on my E drive, and inside that um, there's another folder, folder called data, and inside that there's something called gss underscore 2016 underscore clean dot DTA, and that's the, the, the copy of the GSS that we're going to be trying to load here. So to set my directory, I'm going to just type it in, E colon front slash since I'm in Windows, uh, data, and then if I highlight that and run it, you can see that it set my directory properly. I didn't get any error messages. And if you really want to verify that you did this correctly, you can type list.files with empty parentheses. And you can see right here, I have the state of data that I'm trying to load. OK, so now let's load it into our, uh, our, our session. So let's say that we wanted to give this a name like data. Well, the way that you do that is you type data that's the name that we're going to be assigning this data file. And then we're going to use the assignment operator, which is just these two characters right here. So a less than sign and a dash. And now we're going to use a function called read.dta. So that will help Stata read, uh, that will help R read data in Stata format. So we can open up some brackets. And then all that we need to do, since we've already set our working directory, is just type the name of the file that we want to load in quotes. So just open up some quotes and then type gss underscore 2016 underscore clean dot DTA. And then all that you need to do is just run that line. And again, it looks like nothing happened, except if you glance over here um, in your global environment, you'll see that you have this new object that's called data. And if you want to see what the data set looks like, you can just click on that and it will open the first few um, the first few rows and the first few columns of the general social survey. So everything looks good. 
Um, the only really other thing to mention is that you can name your data frame objects just about anything that you want. So if I wanted to call this GSS instead, I would just say GSS gets, and I'm going to just copy and paste the rest of this down, right? So now I'm creating an object that's going to be exactly the same in terms of what's inside it, but I'm giving the object a different name. So this time it's just called GSS. And if I highlight that and run it, you'll see that in the global environment, I now have two different data sets, even though they're exactly the same inside. And that's really all that there is to it.